In this class, you'll add geometric relationships to blocks, manually as well as automatically. These relationships are necessary for keeping block geometry defined and are part of the elements responsible for block parameterization. These constraints are on the Block Editor tab and then on the Geometric panel. They are also on the Parametric tab and on the Block Creation palette and then on the Constraints tab. You'll learn how to work with geometric constraints using this iProfile geometry. The Auto Constraint tool is the fastest way to insert geometric constraints. This tool automatically inserts all geometric constraints necessary for defining the geometry. It's so easy to use. You just have to enable the command and select the drawings which will be part of the block. However, it's not possible to always be successful using this tool, as it doesn't always meet the needs of the project intention. In these cases, you should use the manual tools to insert constraints. There are many tools for manual insertion, each one for a different purpose. Let's take a look at each one. Coincident. This tool makes points or objects be coincident, no matter how they are edited. Collinear. This constraint, when applied, makes two straight lines be aligned to the same straight reference line. Concentric. Forces arcs and circumferences to remain at the same midpoint. Fix. This constraint is used for fixing a specific entity point to the graphic workspace. Parallel makes two linear entities remain parallel to each other, or in other words, to keep the same distance between any two points from one straight line to the other, so as not to cross. Perpendicular defined as two linear entities placed at right angles to each other. Horizontal and vertical, defined as an element placed on the vertical or horizontal plane related to WCS. Tangent, this defines a common point between two objects. This constraint must be applied between a circumference or arc and another object. Smooth, this is used to keep a smooth continuity between a spline and another element. Symmetric. This relationship, when inserted, automatically resizes selected entities and changes the distance between them symmetrically. Equal. Defines identical measurements for two elements. When you use these tools, you will be able to define how entities behave related to others which are part of the geometry. So let's apply geometric constraints to this block and take advantage of the Auto Constraints tool. Enable the tool, select all elements, and confirm the selection by pressing the Enter key. Notice how all required constraints have been inserted for defining the block. So in this class, you've learned how to use the geometric constraint tools to create parametric blocks.